we got to talk Hamza. Yes. So I know people are like, it's over. The hype is done. <laughs> I am actually on the opposite side. I said, okay, what did we learn? He can take a fucking punch. He definitely has a decent striking game. His cardio, not bad. I mean, he got into a little bit of an overzealous war. What I know, too, is Ramadan is around, right? Ramadan is this time of year. I think Bilal's doing it, I assume, which I'm concerned about Bilal's does, yeah. chin for that main reason. That's another reason I'm kind of more on the Vicente Luque side. Hamza Chimaev probably was fasting for that. So let's say they are doing that. Maybe there's a chance that uh, there was a performance loss for Hamza. But what I'll tell you is this. Stylistically speaking, Gilbert Burns has the jiu-jitsu. Kobe Covington doesn't pose a threat for Hamza on the floor. I think Kobe Covington is going to get taken down and beaten up by Hamza Chimaev when they fight. And I think it looks a lot easier. I think Burns is just that matchup. It's like, fuck, this guy can wrestle a little bit. But his jiu-jitsu, when you do take him down, you're in serious yes. danger. That's I, I think that's why it ended up looking as it did. And I mean, the overhands. I kind of look at this. I, I'm thinking after that fight, I said, shit, I think Gilbert Burns might be able to beat Colby Covington. Like, I think that might be a bad stylistic matchup for Colby. Knockout power in the hands. And at least make it a, a fight. I think it'd be close. I don't know, man. Uh, these are the thoughts I'm having. You're looking at me like I'm nuts, bro. I'm looking at you like you're a Hamza fan, my brother. You fucking, you love Hamza Shemayev. Okay. He's the best. This is what I learned. All okay. those things. But Hamza Shemayev does not know how to weave a punch. He did oh. not weave. He a definitely ate way too many. Punch. When you swing a punch at Hamza Shemayev, what does he do? He goes like this. And he tries yeah. to catch it on his arm. And I, I guess this is okay. It's like having your shield going into battle. You know what's yeah. even better? Don't get hit. Okay? Yeah. So if Hamza is going to wait for a punch to come, all I need to do is start figuring out how to get over the top, how to straighten it out, how to get that punch through. Because, yeah, Gilbert would hit his elbow and hit his forearm, and the next one would catch him in the damn head. So Hamzat has this little hole in his striking that I saw where he's pressing forward, but he just relies on these instead of actually weaving, pulling, right, using his feet. He kind of was walking into some shots there. And when you think about the striking of Colby Covington, what does he lack? Back, power, of course. Gilbert Burns has much more power. But what does he have that Gilbert doesn't have? Much more smooth with the boxing. Much more smooth. Much higher output. Mm -hmm. Can that add up on Hamzat? We were we kept wondering, right? We kept wondering. And I asked. I was. I, I said to the MMA gods, I said, please, can we see Hamzat Shemayev pushed? I want to see what his cardio looks like. Now I know. The guy's got heart. The guy's in ridiculous shape. But he is not built to be a 25-minute kickboxer. It's just not the way he is designed. Hamzat needs those takedowns. If Hamzat doesn't get the takedowns and he's stuck boxing with Colby Covington, my brother, my brother, I don't like it. You like it? I think he's going to smash Colby Covington. Oh, shit. I think of he's going to smash that of guy. Course. <laughs> of course. I think so, bro. I want. I mean, I, I'd watch Burns and him run it back. I think, yeah. he, I think he'll beat oh, Burns yeah. easier. I think he'll beat Burns easier. He does it again, bro. Shit, Burns looked like a bad matchup to him. Oh, he, Burns looked amazing. I want to see Burns versus Masvidal. I think he'll beat up Masvidal. I think he'll choke oh. him out. Come Masvidal on. at this point is not even, he ain't even there. I think Gilbert Burns is still a problem at 170. I think Hamzat Chimaev is towards the top. I mean, they talked about a rematch, maybe. Uh, I don't know, man. I think Colby Covington is going to be taken down by Hamzat. I think that's Ooh. the thing. Is I think the wrestling of Hamzat Shumav, he's going to be dialing in. I think that he's not going to have any fear of the ground game. I think I, th I think there was a fear of Gilbert Burns' submissions, which... He said like, it. He, he definitely... He, I think he said something like, uh, that. I don't know, I stopped with the wrestling. Like, I don't know. It just... There's a Hamzat worry, says, right? Hamzat said that... Sorry to cut you off. Hamzat no, said good. that he took um, uh, Burns down. He said he go for an armbar. I don't like this. He pulled out. He yeah. pulled out. He, he was going for the armbar. He's like, ah, I don't really want to be there. He is a jiu-jitsu champion, man. He is a he is a bad matchup for a Hamzat because of the power on the feet and the jiu-jitsu on the floor. Let's both admit this to the to everybody watching. That's yeah. not the fight we expected. That's no, not the fight we not. expected. I didn't it's think not. Hamzat would be nervous about the grappling like that. And I didn't expect Hamzat to get punched so easily. You know, normally we see from Hamzat very straight punching. That's He was banging with Gilbert yeah. a little bit. And that shit was a coin flip at points. Gilbert said, hey, why were you on your hands? Were you doing push-ups during the fight? It's like, dude, he hurt Hamzat 
bad, yeah. bad. And, you know, a lot of you guys are saying we learned about Hamzat's chin. I agree, but I never really doubted that he had a chin. So for me, I learned that Hamzat's hittable. That's what I learned. And and with that being said, you know, he better be careful fighting um, with these guys who got, you know, five round styles who can who can accumulate punches on him. Um, you know, we, I think Gilbert hits harder than even Kamaru and especially Colby Covington. And that was a big problem to get past. There will be new problems presented by Colby. Maybe we could at least agree on that. I think it's a different different puzzle but it's a puzzle that will be solved. I, mean, I think these guys are going to be I, – I still believe, bro. I still believe. I'm not going to lose faith. Um, I just think that Hamzat is going to continue to improve, and I'm very excited to see how Kobe Covington and, and him fares. I mean, that's such a cool fight. If I love the idea. Fight. Yeah, it, it might not happen. Could be Luke a. Muhammad winner fighting Hamzat. Uh, that, that would be uh, like a – you know, a Vicente Luque fighting Hamzat, the strategy is so obvious. Hamzat yeah. should take him down, you know? Yeah. As to well, where, that's when, you start, a fight. when you start putting him against these wrestlers, you know, it becomes less obvious. So, um, you know, one thing that we saw and that I learned about Hamzat is that he can get sucked into a firefight. And yes. it's something that he's really going to need to learn how to deal with. You know, one thing that nobody really talked about was, and actually Dana White brought it up after the fight, if I'm not mistaken, was that Hamzat fought most of his UFC fights with zero people there or like 30, you know, True. now he's in these freaking sold out arenas. They're going crazy for him. I think that affected his fight, man. Yeah. Yeah. You, yo, I think it did. I think it did. I think the fasting too. I'm telling you, man, I think at the very least, I think he could 30-27 Gilbert Burns with a more patient approach. Patience, yes. Patience he didn't show patience the there. He Trust just, the he, grappling. Go into I think it. He, Go he right in. Fearful. Don't get scared of that arm bar, Hamza. He's only a Go blue right belt, in. though, that night. I mean, he just got his purple belt that day. So, like, you know, maybe a little more confidence. That blue belt, he's like, fuck, this guy's a black belt champ. Maybe he's like, <laughs> shit, I don't want to risk something. I don't know, man. Just maybe look like little thoughts in there. You know who else was a black belt in jiu-jitsu? Hoist Gracie? He knocked him out at 185 pounds. Okay. Oh, Mearshart. You got it. Yes. Yeah. That's also a black belt in jujitsu. And Hamza I think 85 forward. Hamzat's fucking, that might be a different beast. Maybe we just don't know it yet. AJ loves this guy. All right. This is your, is that your favorite fighter? It is, bro. Yeah. Which is, I mean, for me, I started a, the channel around the time Hamzat made his UFC debut. And I just said, oh, shit, I, I found the guy. This is my guy. I'm riding with him to the top. I'm a big Hamzat guy. I believe there in him, bro. There yeah. it is. I'm going to get you a smish with a Hamzat on. I'm going to get you a t-shirt, bro. We got you. Dude, send send right, me that Hamzat AJ. tea, bro. I'll rock it all the time, bro. I'll rock it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Grow the beard out a little more. We got to get the hat off. Yeah, that got guy's major, these guys, brother. I got major. Super fun fight. That shit had me on the edge of my seat, jumping out of my seat, just absolute madness. Um, honestly, uh, to tell you guys where I was watching it, I was at Universal Studios with my wife because I was taking her out for her birthday and I could not get off my phone. I was just watching That's my hilarious. phone the entire time. You know, I could not, we were in line and I was just freaking out. You know, the, it was hilarious. a little spotty with the connection. Um, lucky to see that one live on my phone. So uh, I rewatched it, I think twice now. Fun fight to watch and uh, something that really shows Colby and other people a blueprint to potentially beat Hamzat. And I think that some of the mystique, some of the mystique that Hamzat was coming in with, some of that aura, I think some of it was lost. I'm glad. I'm glad, man, because people are going to sleep on him, bro. <laughs> I just, I don't know. That's, I'm just thinking like Chad Mendez gave McGregor the hell fight back in the day. Uh, you look, I mean, Habib Good plays point. in T-Bow back in the day. And I always think Hamzat only has 11 pro fights, 12, including his one amateur bout. So, like, he's fighting the best guys in the world with minimal experience. I think he was a little bit rushed to the top. And I guess uh, now that fight was kind of like the, the price to pay. Maybe they pump the brakes and don't give him Colby. Maybe he gets somebody else. That might be smart. Yeah, I, I definitely think there's a possibility that they pump the brakes a little bit, give him one more, and then we do a, a big title contender type fight.